and Technotronics. We are releasing a new universal GPI board which is a ready to use input output circuit. Normally when we are connecting a simple circuit or an experiment in a breadboard, we need to connect different circuit and to interconnect them we need to use many wires. So when the experiment is quite bigger, it becomes too complex and becomes confused. So we have introduced a simple GPI board which has all the basic components interconnected. And here's a closer look at the universal GPI board. So we can, here we can see different components. So these are all interconnected. So here we have 8 LEDs. Here you can see the red, red colored 8 LEDs. And here also we can have 4 push buttons. And here we do have an LM35 that is a temperature sensor. Then we have a port that is potentiometer and we have an LDR that is a light dependent resistor and we have a buzzer here and a TSOP. And here we can see an anode that is common anode 7 segment display. And for the power, here we have the power switch, this is for the switching on and off. So here all of them are interconnected and here we can see a male connector through which we can give the control signal to the corresponding circuits over here. So this is a simple description about the components that are in this universal GPI mode. Now we'll test this universal GPI board whether it is working fine or not. So we'll just check the working of certain components without controlling, without connecting to a microcontroller. So here we have the power supply we cut board. So it supplies a 5 volt and a ground. So we'll just connect a 5 volt and ground and we'll just check some of the components whether it is working fine or not. So initially I will be connecting a push button with an LED and just checking whether this board is working fine. So here you can see here. This is the ground. So we give it to the ground pin. And the red pattern. Wires. This is to the power supply. So this is the way we give the power supply. And here the 5 volt supply. So now the power supply on the ground has been given. Once it's switched on, you can see the light blinking. So this shows that it has been activated. Now we will be connecting a push button to the corresponding LED and that should blink. So I connected switch 4 as you can see here. So this is a switch 4 and here is the mail connector through which we give the connection. And from that we give to an LED. So once I press, you can see here the light blinking. So correspondingly if I give to switch 3, so this is switch 3, it's blinking. And I give it to switch 2, it is blinking. So again I give here switch 1, it is blinking. So the first four push buttons are working and the LED is working. Now again you will see a buzzer and a potentiometer. So I will just connect the potentiometer to the buzzer. So, and as I change the values of the potentiometer, so here we connect it, and here I'm connected. So, here I just rotate the potentiometer, and let's see. You can see the sound ready. So, as I increase the sound, so potentiometer and the buzzer is working. So correspondingly we will just check an LDR with a LED. So disconnected LDR with LED. So once it is given so we need to give the light power supply. So as I give a light you can see the LED blinks. So as I remove it, it goes away. I give the light and it blinks. So correspondingly, okay. so you can see the seven segment that is a common anode. So this common, this is a common anode pin. So we need to give the corrections according to the common anode. If you give to a connection according to common anode, common cathode, it will get burnt. So here I just give the connections and just check. So I give a switch button to the 7 segment display of one of the LEDs. 
So this LED is a common anode. So when the low signal is given, it the LED blinks. So once I press it, it just goes. Away. So so high signal blinks. So the next you can see again this one. So this one is getting low signal and it is blinking. And we check the next one. This is also blinking. So we check the next one. This is also blinking. So the next. Here we have a TSOC and is a universal GPIO board. So the TSOC, as you know, is an IR receiver which helps us to receive IR signal from the transferring devices like TV remotes. So we can access this TSOC by a mail connector okay, from a TSOC signal from the mail connector as you can see here TSOC which is imprinted as TSOC in the board. So with this we can connect it and we can activate this TSOC and we can receive the IR signals from the transferring devices. We have given a simple introduction to this universal GPI board as you saw before. Hope that will be very useful for you and it is really useful for beginners, for hobbyists, for students and we can do many experiments and many uh, components with this can be done very easy. Hope this is very useful and this is available in our website. If you want, you can log on to www.tenetech.com or you can drop a mail if you have any queries regarding this board to info at tenetech.com.